This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the Quick Lab Turns and Services and YouTube Community Guidelines. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I am going to guide you through the process to complete this lab and help you to understand each step. First, log in with your Quick Lab credentials and once done with that, in the description box of this video, I have shared the GitHub link which will help you to automate some tasks over here. However, I will recommend you to follow along and understand what each command does so you can learn the process effectively. I will encourage to open and review the script to understand each step. So first of all, just me scroll down over here and from here just me open this link in incognito window over here. This will activate your cloud shell. So just me wait for that. And it's finally done. Now just me come back over here and from here you can see this curl command. This command will download your github file from your github to your cloud shell. Then we have to make this file executable. For that we have to just me run this chmod command. And for running this file we have to just me use this command. So just me copy this command. Come back over here and just me paste hit enter wait for a second and now here you can see for the zone for that just me come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see lab zone so copy this come back over here paste hit enter now for the monolithic identifier just me copy this come back paste hit enter now for the cluster name copy this come back paste hit enter now for the order identifier just me copy this come back paste hit enter now for the product identifier, scroll down, copy this, come back, paste, hit enter. Now for the front end identifier, just me copy this last one, come back, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second and then just me click on authorize. Now you have to just me wait for this command get execute and once it's done, you are done with this lab. Once you run this script, it will automate many of your steps to require to complete the lab. But it's essential to understand the process behind those steps. The goal is to use this script as a learning tool. To help you to complete the lab not just get the score after the script run you can go to the lab page and click on the check my progress to see the score make sure to review what each task does and why it's important in the lab so that you are not just getting a score but actually learning the concept now just simply wait and watch the command execution and understand what each command is doing
Now, if you come to the lab instruction and click on the check my progress for the task, you will get a score for sure. And if the score is not updating, just may wait for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, you can just go through each and every task and understand what you have done on this particular labs over here. Once you get a score on each and every task, after that, you can just end the lab. Just make sure that you have learned the concept of this particular lab. And that's it for this video. If you have any doubts or any question, please let me know in the comment section. I will help you and clear your doubts. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys. Remember, this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.